Good afternoon, CHS. I'm your host of Inc. TV, Izzy Cavazzoni. And I'm Sawyer Barth. Uh, today we're here with the January episode of Inc. TV. Students kept busy throughout the month, though there weren't many school events. Just before winter break on December 23rd, SGA hosted the annual Alumni Day, a day when CHS graduates are welcomed back to their alma mater for current students to ask them questions about college. Let's go to Emily Toro for more information. For part of the school day, alumni were able to attend a breakfast held in the cafeteria. Alumni were prompted to answer questions about life after high school to the junior and senior classes. The SGA came up with a list of questions for the alumni. Students can also text in answers to SGA President Mark Despina and Vice President Julia Party. They answered questions about college, giving students information on what life away from home and college education in general is like. After answering questions, alumni were able to walk around school during lunch to catch up with old friends and teachers. Let's go to SGA Vice President Julia Party for her take on Alumni Day. So Alumni Day I think is a really great tradition because it allows juniors and seniors to get perspective from people who graduated from CHS to learn about what it's actually like after graduating from CHS. Um, since I hosted this year with um, Mark, we came up with questions um, basically just based on general things that people would wonder before going to college, whether that's about um, transportation, getting there, the distance, making friends, academics, all kinds of things like that. And we also got a lot of questions texted in, which was really great from the students. For Inc. TV, I'm Emily. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Emily. Students were welcomed back to school after a week of winter break with park testing. Testing took place over a course of two weeks. Math testing for Algebra 1, 2 and Geometry began on January 4th and ended on the 6th. And English park testing for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors began the following Monday on January 9th and ended on January 12th. That same week on January 6th, the class of 2019 hosted the annual Winter Ball. Each year, the sophomore class has the opportunity to host Winter Ball. Let's go to Audrey Mannion for more information on this year's take of Winter Ball. The class of 2019 hosted CHS's annual Winter Ball on Friday, January 6th. The sophomore class decided on the theme of Northern Lights, and throughout the months of December and January leading up to the dance, the class continued to hang up posters, create commercials, and sell tickets to inform CHS. They sold over 275 tickets to the dance. Each student was allowed to bring one friend from outside of school, and tickets were sold for $10 before winter break and $12 after break. Members of the sophomore class stayed through to help set up on the day of. The dance included multiple food tables, a photo booth, and a sit-down area. Let's hear from class council member Audrey Rulenta to see how she thought the dance went. I think the dance went really well. A lot of people seemed to enjoy it, and it was a lot of hard work to get the decorations and food together, but I think it all paid off. Signing off for Inc. TV, I'm Audrey. Now back to Izzy and Sawyer in the studio. Evan Quo went into the halls to see if CHS students kept up with their New Year's resolutions. I took to the halls to find out what people's New Year's resolutions were for 2017 and how well they were keeping up with them. My New Year's resolution is to better myself in dance and I've kept up with it by, um, we do like these stretches at dance and I've been working harder at them and I've been working harder when we do floor parts. Um, my New Year's resolution I had two words to wear more sunblock and to snap, use Snapchat more. Um, but I actually have been doing pretty bad with both, so, yeah. My New Year's resolution was to do yoga every day for 30 days straight. And I haven't been perfect, but I did it for long enough, I probably did it for like 10 days straight, and I like it so much. I didn't do yesterday, I didn't do the day before because I was so busy, but I can't wait home, I can't wait to go home and do it today and it's definitely something that I'll keep doing and I just do it in my bedroom with a YouTube video and it's easy and manageable and I love it. It makes me feel all stretchy. I don't have a new year's resolution because I'm not one to focus on self-improvement. I just kind of linger on being the human being that I am and my friends either like me or don't like me for that. Um, my new year's resolution is to go to the gym every day after school so I can stay in shape for field hockey and everything and I've been doing pretty good with it. I just go unless I have something or if I'm really tired or sore. My New Year's resolution is to be more organized and stay on top of my schoolwork. And generally, I've been doing well, but I'm still not perfect. Not to lose my temper with my family. And how have I kept up with it? I haven't. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to not procrastinate on assignments, and I've been keeping up with it so far. To keep on swagging out and wearing different styles that make people happy. 
I have none. I will be the same jerk I was last year. Um, my New Year's resolution is to eat good. I want to be a nicer person and hopefully pass all my classes. And I have kept up with it so far, but I probably won't. Thank you. <laughs> For Ink TV, I'm Evan Quo. Now back to Sawyer and Izzy in the studio. All right, thanks, Evan. That closes out the January episode of Ink TV. I'm Sawyer Barth. And I'm your host, Izzy Cavazzoni. Thanks for watching, CHS.